quant what happened in the quant let's take a look at the quant analytics we are able to do so we have again picked every question tagged it and this is the analysis that we got the highest number of questions have always over the last three four years come from arithmetic once again those of you who have started preparing right now you will not have enough time to finish everything in quant so what is your strategy guys if you are starting this month or just started in the last 10 15 days you will go to you are going to look at arithmetic and algebra that's enough you do these two you can easily cross your 95 percentile very easily provided you do these two for the next three months solidly right now you can see the next highest number is with algebra and the, then there's a lot of difference between the second highest and the third highest so the third highest then the next and the next are very very small in terms of weightage so geometry is only about four to six questions whereas you have a high, higher number of questions coming up from uh, arithmetic and algebra in fact last year if you look at three to five questions only came based on the slot Three to five only came from uh, geometry, but the others have about eight questions, nine questions, six questions, seven questions from algebra and so on and so forth, right? So those of you who prepared or started preparing one month back, guys, these three are your targets. Those who started just recently, these two are your targets. Of course, those of you who have been preparing for long, already you would have finished quite a bit of this. Okay, so let's quickly take a look at uh, the number of questions which have come from each topic or each subtopic. Entire arithmetic had about 140 questions in the last three years, uh, three or four, five years, I believe. The most important here within arithmetic is time and work, time and distance. You can see that almost about 50 or 45% of the questions have come from your time and work, time and distance. It's a very important topic, so don't miss that. Moving on, the next important topic in algebra is, is algebra. So what is very important in this? Quadratic equations, sequence and series is progressions, logarithms, functions. These are your four most important topics if you want to prepare algebra. The remaining guys, you can do that based on your requirement. See guys, my target for you, arithmetic entirety. Don't leave anything in arithmetic. In algebra, only prepare these four. That's enough. You don't need to become a stud in everything. These four will give you at least about five questions out of the six or seven that you'll be, that you'll be getting in your algebra. Right? That's enough. Moving on to the remaining part is geometry, number theory and modern math. You can see the number of questions coming from permutation combination and number theory is not that high. But yes, geometry has some number of questions which is what we mentioned. If time permits, go for geometry. Otherwise, you can probably leave it. Uh, okay, moving on. The percentile requirement, once again, if you notice, CAT last year, the number of questions were 22. And to get a 90 percentile, you're looking at around 6 corrects and probably one mistake. Uh, six threes are 18 and one mistake gives you 17. So out of 22, you basically need less than 25% or rather just more than 25%, 27% approximately. That's enough for you. Six to seven questions, that's your target. You can easily do that in your arithmetic and, uh, and algebra. And if, you, if you're looking at a 99 percentile, you're going to look at around 12 questions, correct? Uh, probably 12 all usually you don't have a hundred percent accuracy so i'm saying around 14 corrects and probably two wrongs should be good enough giving you a 40 marks so this is your target guys half the paper that's your target that half is easily solvable using only the two topics arithmetic and algebra